Good morning, YouTube. My name is Nayeli, and I am here to clear up the air a little bit because apparently I have gotten a lot of negativity. And although, like, I'm a really positive person that likes to keep positive perspective and positive vibrations, it's hard to block off that negative energy when it's, you know, I read it and it's like, okay, like, I let it resonate and I let it marinate and I let it sit right here, you know, in this chakra, the heart chakra right here, let it sit real quick. And then I just kind of embrace it and then I'm just like, okay, like there's been too many, too much confusion whatsoever. So I'm going to do a quick little recap. So growing up, um, I was six years old and suicidal. I wanted to fucking kill myself. I wanted to die. I will sit in a corner and I would like... I knew like I couldn't die holding my breath, but I, you know, I was six years fucking old. I went from like trying to hold my breath to die, to fucking trying to strangle myself, to fucking trying to drown myself. And, I, and then I found out that you can't really drown yourself. But I don't know. Um, I just wanted to die. I didn't want to live. I didn't, I didn't understand the world. I would ask questions. I would ask, why do we live this way? Why are we living in like what's the point of a job what was the point of like going to school what's you know what's the point of living in a conformist society what's the point of owning a car what's the point of having a house what's the point what is the real meaning of life that's what i would always always ponder i've been a philosophical i've been i have had a philosophical way of thinking since very young that was that would be shunned and that would be blocked off um my parents would eventually tell me to shut the fuck up um because i was annoying and i asked too many questions and pretty much the normal things that society doesn't want you to do um i grew up a loner i didn't have any friends um i was really suicidal i wanted to die man like I didn't think there was a point and then but there was something in my head that would tell me you know like wait things out maybe when you're older things would get better um like don't worry like it'll get better don't worry okay so I grew up grew up grew up grew up and then things were getting better I was getting in trouble in school because I wasn't fitting into society I would get in trouble all the time I would be in O room all day every day in school suspension fucking expelled all the time I eventually went to like a correctional school um got kicked out of that and I went to independent studies and then got kicked out of that and then like you know like I just I never worked with the system Eventually, at 17, um, I graduated a year early because fuck school. I'm smart. I just don't like school. I don't like the system. That's it. I don't like the system. Um, I graduated a year early. I moved out at 17. I had my own two-story, two-bedroom condo. And at 17, so quit talking your shit real quick. I had two jobs. I was going to school full-time. And then I eventually... You know, that ended up fucking up because I was living with a, 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 we were troubled souls at the time. And we just couldn't live together, me and this guy. And um, then I ended up moving back with my mom. I eventually got three jobs, going to school full time. And then, you know, like helping my mom with her household, um, helping her clean or whatever. Like, that's when I was really motherfucking depressed. That's when I was like, like, I was back to my depression, back to wanting to die, wanting to kill myself, wanting, yeah, like, I was able to, like, cover this illusion with makeup, but I was not happy in here, like, I, I was not content, finally, I was like, you know what, fuck this acne, I'm just gonna go out in public without makeup, like, fuck society, fuck people's judgments on me, yeah, I was fat and full of acne and I was ugly and whatever you know I ended up making YouTube videos people were like what the fuck this bitch has hella acne like damn like this is a freak show and then people started being like oh my god like she has a soul like she has a soul like okay what the fuck everybody has a soul everybody has fucking acne i just happen to have like a pretty bad case of acne just because i have acne doesn't make me a goody two-shoes you know um unfortunately i was just stuck with this disease it's whatever you know it's part of me it made me who i am if i didn't have my acne i wouldn't be humble as fuck like i am right now 
So then, like, I started going to school again, and then there's just, like, this void in myself. Like, I'm going to school, going to work. I work fucking 80 hours a week. Please, homegirl, like, tell me who works 80 hours a week. This girl right here. I was working 14 hours a day, seven days a week. I didn't have any fucking days off for, like, three months. Yeah. And you wonder why I went crazy? <laughs> so... I was working, working, working hella hard, and buying a sick ass car. Got my little Beamer. So if you guys tell me, oh, go get a job, been there, done that. Just look at my Beamer. I wish I could show you guys my Beamer. It's outside. But um, so uh, yeah, I ended up getting a car. I was like, yeah, I'm going places in life. I'm, I got my car now. Like I just need to make a little bit more money to make a down payment. First month's rent, last month's rent, real quick, you know? That's the basic three. I got my credit done. I got really good credit. And it's just like, okay, you guys, I was a part of society longer than most of you guys have, and I did it better than most of you guys did. So before you guys, you know, start to judge and stuff, there was still a void in myself. Um, I eventually, you know, like, my mom never really appreciated everything I've done. Although I was going to school full time, three jobs a week, she was still kicking me out. And I was like, what the fuck? I have nowhere to go other than your house. So whatever, I'm just gonna leave. I ended up living in my car for a few months, like six months or almost, like a lot, lot longer than six months. I don't know. I was back and forth all around the beach, you know, selling like cool little crafts and stuff that I made, you know, and then, you know, just hustling, like, um, you know, just making my money because I ended up getting laid off. And then when I got laid off in my job, that's when I realized I'm never, ever, ever going to depend on another soul to get feed me to give me food to let me survive i'm not going to let my survival in the hands of somebody else because that's how everybody is living right now they're all living paycheck to paycheck i know that you guys don't like to hear your parents struggling with the bills it's the most stressful thing to hear and to just be involved in that it's really hard as a person to come up and like our middle class is slowly declining and the higher class is slowly getting more up and the separation gap it's getting wider and wider and it's becoming harder for people to come up yeah i don't shave my armpits anymore um but what's it called and so it's just a really stressful time for everybody right now um well i decided to not be a part of that and just to leave um my perspective has always been a little different than others therefore that's why i was probably a loner growing up and stuff but um i've always been this crazy um in middle school they would call me the the chiva loca which is the crazy goat um i am a capricorn so it's a little ironic that that's that um so yeah that's my quick little life story um i started getting acne at sixth grade um and then i started getting in trouble like in fifth grade fourth grade actually um yeah like it's nothing new if you guys grew up with me you guys would know that i've always been this wild and crazy i was the one that was like what's up potty 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 middle school potty like what the fuck pottying in middle school <laughs> i'm so awkward and weird but it's funny because i learned from that and now i'm learning great greater beautiful better things and i'm working so don't trip on me working um I'm just not being a part of society. I came to visit my mom because my mom was missing me. So look, check it out. I'm at my mom's house. This is all my mom's stuff. I don't... Anybody that was wondering what happened to my apartments and stuff that I lived in. This is all my mom's stuff. This is my mom's little empire. It's cute, whatever. But the thing is... <sighs> she's paying $1,200 for a one-bedroom motherfucking apartment. And it's a two-story apartment. So, like... It just doesn't make sense to me that she wouldn't get, like, a two-bedroom for me. I offered, you know, to pay her rent. I was going to give her, like, $500 a month for my own room. I'd rather live with her than anybody else. But um, now I just have to find the people that are willing to collaborate with me to make a home together. And that's what I'm working on right now. So don't trip on me. I'm doing awesome. I'm keeping a positive mindset, and that's the best that I can do for myself right now. So I hope that you guys um, are doing awesome and I hope that you guys are loving life and I hope that you guys aren't letting people's negativities get to you. Um, people don't understand. People will never understand because they have never been through what you've been through. And 
we just have to accept that sometimes. It's okay. Like, I love every single one of you guys once I'm where I want to be in life. Because obviously, this is not where I want to be in life. I want to be doing better, bigger things. And I will be doing those bigger, better things right now without the knocking down of people in general. And I will be succeeding in my life because I'm already succeeding in my life. And I just have to continue succeeding in my life. Um, I, yeah. So I love all you guys. Stay positive. Namaste. Namaste. And open your little chakras a little bit. Align it once in a while. Do a headstand once in a while. Just to quickly align those chakras. Um, yeah. Okay. Deuces.